Oh, Chad. What am I gonna do with you, huh? See, I was gonna leave you alone. You've done a wonderful job of showing yourself up in the last month or so. But you've been sniffing around my channel in a desperate bid to get some sort of attention. And in an unwitting display of irony, you've been calling other people dishonest. But tell you what, let's give you what you want. Let's give you a really public forum for you to completely own an atheist. That's right. I'm going to give you the most public platform you can possibly get to take me down. I'm looking for any YouTube theist to lend me their blog TV room for an evening and to be the moderator of this debate. Blog TV will bring an audience far and wide to publicly watch you humiliate me. Ideally, I'm looking for either Rational Roundtable, Together for Peace, or Dawa Films to host and moderate the event. The reason I'm looking for these three in particular is because these three theistic apologists have been people that I've had very public disagreements with in the recent past. The fact that they're theists and the fact that they've had several disagreements with me in the past puts them quite squarely on your side, Chad. But that's not all I'm going to do to stack the deck in your favour. The debate will be carried out on the premise that we accept the Elliot argument, or strictly speaking, your reworked version of William Lane Craig's reworked version of the Kalam Cosmological Argument. For the purposes of this debate, we will assume that the Kalam Cosmological Argument hasn't already been refuted. Now, if I were you, Chad, I'd jump on this like it's an early Christmas present. I'm offering you a very public forum, I'm offering you a judge partial to theism, and I'm offering to conduct the whole debate accepting the Elliot Argument. What can I say? Obviously the Christmas spirit has hit me early. To win this debate, there's only really one thing you need to do. All you need to do is show that the god of the Kalam cosmological argument, and then later on the Eliot argument, is in fact the god of the Bible. You need to prove that it's Yahweh, and not one of the gods from the other 4,199 faith systems on the planet at the moment. Now, I'd say that those terms are not only transparent, I'd also say that they're fairly generous in your favour. About the only thing that you're not getting is the ability to moderate. But that shouldn't really be a problem given that you wanted a form of debate and you'll have a moderator who's on your side. Now just to make sure you can't claim that you haven't seen this video, I want everyone who is watching this right now, if you have the ability, to mirror it. It'll serve the twin purpose of getting the message spread far and wide and making sure that you cannot get away from this video or the challenge that it contains. I only have one thing left to say. In the words of Heihachi Mishima, Mesete Muraoka. Till the next time I clock a thousand heads and until the next time we unite through common dreads.